Hello and uh, welcome to my coding session where I am implementing my bucket manager which is a useful JavaFX application and today it will be a rather short coding session um, let me just quickly yeah so basically today I will implement one interesting future um, it's uh, some sort of a minor issue but this should be implemented so basically here I have my help item menu about app and when the user clicks on this menu um, a new window should, should appear with a license information for this application which I have written which I write currently and how it should go and let me just let me just do it so basically I need to write my test first because I'm doing test driven development um, let me just show you what I have just previously done It takes some time. To launch the application. Yep. Let me just quickly look up. So it's invoking Navin Project Builder. Yeah. And I don't understand why it takes so long. Okay, now it works. So, few seconds. Right, so it starts the testing. This is this is what I have done previously. All right, cool. Now this test already consists of uh, many lines of code, and I don't want to pollute it anymore. So basically, to be able to run uh, tests. Um, Properly, I need to write another JUnit test. And this JUnit test will be basically uh, testing about menu tests because uh, let me just quickly run my main application here. It takes some time to run it. Yeah. So basically I expect uh, to do following. I need to write my about bucket manager and later I add another stuff. And basically the test will be like this. The user click on help, click on license agreement and then a new window should appear with the uh, information on of the license for this application. And this will be basically, I have my um, whiteboard, this will basically go like this, here is my main application, main, so and here I have my help option, if the user clicks here and then user will see a new window. This window will only have only one button, like OK, and I will have here a text box, and then in this text box, user will see a nicely formatted text about the license which he agree upon using this application. So basically, it's rather uh, quick and short. But let's just let's just write the test uh, first. So my test goes like this. So I'm testing a menu. Here view tests and new other 
JUnit test case. Uh, so here I'm testing uh, all tests which consist in this in this class will go for um, help a menu help main menu test. So this this uh, J unit will only include tests for my help main menu. Okay, and what I should do here? So basically, the code repeats itself in this case. Uh, I have my main view window. The main view. This is main window of my application. All right. And then I need to create extract title. Uh, I don't need this. Um, basically, I need this function, this method. Sorry, um, Java. We have methods, and then I have my get title. Ah, okay, 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 yes, cool. All right, and then I have my stage. Now I, I need uh, to add all all appropriate imports. Test fix stage what he doesn't like uh, uh, I need to to write extends make sense all right so now I have written this now let me just quickly check it if it uh, I need to write a test. So basically, okay. So what should happen? Um, I need to write here test. This void uh, test if. So what I'm actually testing? I need to be able uh, to test that the user sees the window with the license information. Actually, it is currently if I can, if the window appears, then test is pass because I know that uh, text will appear and the button will appear and this will be probably sufficient for this kind of test test if about license I think I did, did mis misspell uh, misspelled wrong uh, license how I write license let me just quickly check it yeah, sometimes spelling is. I think this is a license. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the right spelling for license. Okay, now I just need to put it here and make it sure that it that it pass. So, what is next? Test if about license window 
appears. Um, test if about license window show has been has been test window window show. Yeah. So basically, this is a boolean result expected uh, result is true boolean expected actual result and then I need to check it um, now I put false and then do my favorite assert equals this text uh, the window about license did did not appear expected expected result actual result yeah and then I just need to do following so basically I need to click on I have examples here I'm looking okay so I just need to click click on and this the way how I click first of all I click on menu main menu so basically I'm clicking here menu help I need to put it like string and then I click on I click on I think it is license yeah, menu item license so clicking here menu item license okay so now I have uh, some sort of a failing test let me just quickly run it again so fast but it is good help and about license so I have my failing test this window did they write okay did not appear so now I have changed it and now I can think about how I will do it and my test shows clearly what my expectations so what I need to do first of all uh, I need to think about so my application will uh, need to create another window and then I just need to get hold of, of this window and basically basically I expect to see, to see this window and let's just do it let's just think about for, for a moment how it is how it is how it is uh, how is the best to do that I need to create another form and here you go new file other 
fxxml uh, new fxml document um, brute element basically kind of interesting question what kind of an element which I need to which I like to work with anchor pane maybe uh, let me just quickly run to the Oracle documentation. So Oracle provides following uh, description and ledgers go through border pane. Five regions in which to place nodes, top, bottom, left and right. So basically when I place here my text uh, about license, here I will put my text and here I will put my button. Mm, sounds interesting. Okay. Oh, let me just think of it. Yeah, I have different kind of things here to do. Create an Xbox pane. Layout sample. Create V box pane. Stack pane. So basically, uh, different kind of paints. This is always good to know your options. And I'm actually thinking about what is about flow pane. Okay, so does not suit so much in my case. Um, tile pane, no anchor pane, maybe. But I don't like a layout pane enables you to anchor node to the top bottom left side okay so I can pick I can pick my if I pick anchor pane it does not resize very well because you see here you have things like the nodes maintain their position relative to their anchor point. Mm -mm, this is not good for me. And basically, I decided to use border pane. Enter name. And I write here like about license. Hopefully, I didn't misspell it about license let me just quickly check it because sometimes I do spelling mistakes I admit now let me just quickly do this work and license alright so this is what I need and okay border paint is picked up and now I have my form first of all the size um, what have I for my main fxml I think it is in properties Maybe in layout 800 by 600. Mm, okay, I think I will make it like 900 by 700. 900 by 700. Um, by 700.
let me just save it here and this will pro probably looks like this this is what user will see and before I put any control elements let's just think about the the stuff which I need to do to be uh, to, to, to show this new window let me just think of it so now I have new FXML and I need to go to my controller and my controller need to pick it up as an event so basically it need be let me just first of all uh, find out how I call it I mean the name of the menu item menu bar, menu help, menu license the name menu item license and I need to put the action uh, here so set on action do I have it in my wait, wait a second do I have it like in my declaration yeah I have it let me just put it here and set on action this is a kind of an event and let me just quickly write my alright so I just write some sort of a debug um, first of all to know that this action actually works this out Let me just close this and then just I write uh, action to write for about license window. So basically, I'm doing some sort of a manual test, but it's pretty easy. I click on help, click on license agreement and you see that I have wired some action for this event. And this is how it should work. This is how uh, this is what this is this is actually what I expect from the from the application to see. And now it will become a, a very interesting because I need to be able to create a new stage. Let me just think of how I can how I can invoke a new window. Okay, so quick notation I did found some code here and this is basically pretty simple I need to write some stuff and basically yeah a new window will, will appear but I have a FXML actually do the same work in XML so 
set main view grid pane okay so basically here how it goes uh, I have my helper controller main menu main menu controller and I do following I have my um, about license of XML it is border pane I write here my text border pane border pane about uh, license pain and then I need to write following basically basically I need to invoke yeah uh, link resources I don't need it and then I need to set my title okay now I just need to write here new border pane I hope it works I didn't even never cre created such stuff about license pane and then I need to let me just quickly look it up call well, the second grid set main view grid pane let me set grid pane main view main view grid pane Ah, okay, I understand right now. Yeah. So basically, I need to write here. I need to rewrite the code. So basically, I need to declare some somewhere that I have this uh, additional stuff. A border a pane about license pane private private and then put getter and setter I have many things here uh, source code getters and setters and then I just need to basically yeah, here so once again I need to instantiate my about license pane and I, and I think it's the best way it is to do when the button is clicked so to be able to be able to instantiate this object I just need to write uh, name of the object which I have to instantiate and then write here new border pane so it basically goes like this and then I just create uh, this set I hope it is set okay ah, I don't need to create new no I put here I put here 
this kind of command. So basically, my loader, fixing my loader, I need to border pane, and I need another form, which is, in my case, about license of XML. The factor we name, and then I need to put it here. So now, let me just quickly think why it does not like it. Mm. Uh, do I have any syntax error? Let me. Okay, so here it is. Yeah, sometimes it's not quite obvious what to do. Oops, what happened? Yeah, sometimes you need to have full control and you don't. Uh, I know, I know, I know, it was a mistake. Basically, here is a mistake. Ah, it does, he doesn't like it. Um, yeah, it's sometimes not obvious with all of the semicolons so basically here it is I need to close it down why he doesn't like it do I have enough stuff to close it down Said main one, two, two, two stuff. Okay. And here I have the same situation. Here I have this stuff, this stuff, ah, okay, now I understand. looks like he, he he doesn't he don't see the stuff I think this eclipse mistake. Uh, maybe not, but this should be. Yeah, I think I will fix it later when when it's back. Insert the complete expression. I don't understand what what they mean. This set about license pane, border pane, get class, get resources, and then I need save it and set title. The in, in the example code, let me just quickly copy copy it. Uh, 
Yeah, you saw that. But the code is not complete. So now I did initialize it my uh, stack pane. I need to create my scene. And don't understand why it has this problem. I'm thinking about actually uh, to make my phone smaller. Mm. But I don't wish to do it right now at the moment. So basically, this is what I'm doing. I'm casting this stuff. Let me just think, think quickly think about what I'm doing not right. Border pane casted on this is one line closed. Second stuff closed. I need to add another one. Now what he doesn't like it? Surround uh, try okay try and catch. Now it looks even uglier, but yeah, some stuff is not always simple, and this is sometimes what I get. Let's just write here. Let's just write here the message print stack, stack trace. Yeah, okay. I just write here. Uh, problems exception with creation of about license window about license window because yeah what happens when the fxml file is not available but it, I hope it will not happen and if it happens, it fails. Uh, now to the second part. So now I have loaded my FX, FXML. Now I need to declare a new scene. Scene. Scene and what it about? Uh, second. I will just write here about my about app license scene and then just write new scene and what I need to put in my scene I need to put my layout and how I get my layout this get about license paint Alright, and now I need to create another stage. So basically, I write here stage, stage for scene for licensing, and then I just write new stage, new stage. stage I have done it almost import stage and then what I need to do I need to set the title set title um, license information License, license information, 
and set title is a tab. Now I need to set scene. And then I just need to yeah, pass my scene which I have created. And I need to then I need to show it because it won't it won't be show up. So show Okay now Basically Basically each time when I work with this I create about scene and I'm thinking it will probably work and but it not let me just quickly run it help about uh, yeah, license agreement and you see this window I can close it open it license, infor license information um, yeah. And things about this license. I'm not sure that I want to do the stuff in this way. Because each time when I create a new window. I will pass my formula and I will need to pass the stage. I need, I need to create a scene a sta and put it on the stage each time. But my scene is always different. And what I need to do in this case. I actually need to write here things like this uh, string formula path path to formula path to fxml form and then put here Okay, now it will get the path and oops wrong class yeah, can I can I yeah why not it, it should work too yeah it works pretty nice uh, but I need to work with my fxml with my controller so basically because of, of the need I will have many such windows in my application but I do not want to write specific method for creation of all of these um, windows because, because it will be almost the same stuff so what I need to do I need to extract some detailed information and make it abstract so like this for example string path to xml form and then just extract it here and put it like here that's it all right now um, I will not I will basically need to refactor this refactor rename it and put it here like I don't I don't know um, another 
another scene another scene and this get about license pain and here I need to put like just do it here this get about can I put here like I don't know new new scene because I I wish to to pass actually to pass in this method uh, the scene type and new scene Ah, I don't need to... Set about license pain. This is kind of specific information. Maybe I can use class pane. Maybe do I, do I have in Java I fix class pane? Uh, let me just quickly look it up. So I have found the base the base class and and basically this is what I like to do to work with. So. Get about license pain and let me just pain pain and basically. Um, I'm thinking about to write here like something like um, current current pain and then I just close it and here I need to think about set about license pay here I'm Calling the setter okay so basically it will probably goes like this because I need to set my pain my pain first and and then I need to make it abstract so how it works I'm getting the path for my for my form XML and from this form I create my pain then I pass the result of the work to the current pain and the current pain I pass to my new scene and now I have only to do another paint stage. Need to refactor this code. Refactor rename stage four. And it is all about to write an app, some sort of a code which I can reuse for diff for different kind of paints. And the title information. I need to extract two, so basically I write here string title and then just put here information and the title basically title for for uh, new window maybe it's not so good name but I'm trying to my best to take better name so and 
basically this part is specific because I need to specify what kind of uh, pane I need actually to, to, to create but this part is kind of wait, wait a second without this but this part is basically uh, I can reuse this part many times because I'm providing uh, even 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 less lines I need to extract so in this part in this part I'm getting all detailed values which I need to work with I getting the path to my fxml I load my fxml to my uh, object and then I pass new information for the title for my window and then I provide my current type of pane and let's just uh, extract this code refactor extract method and let's just write here I don't know basically what I'm doing here I, I set set up a new window so basically you see I'm providing only two two values now let's just run my code and I hope it works um, here about license agreement ah it works cool so now I have I have to even do more extraction so here I basically Refactor extract method. Uh, he doesn't like it. What I can extract from this code? It uh, set up a new window title, a new title for for a new window and current pane so my method so to these two stuff uh, yeah let me just do the work current pane title for a new window wait a second and how it gets how it gets title Ah, okay so here I'm passing the title but basically this kind of stuff I can extract in the method let me just refactor extract method yeah it works so basically here I'm set up set up uh, border no, set up about license pain this is what I'm doing here now I have one two three four yeah and I hope you you can so basically I'm trying to always trying to clean my code and now I just need to actually extract effector extract method and put it here like right here load new window about license 
this is pretty neat and this should basically work without any additional problems yep no problem here and cool so now I can actually create this window and my test should run but I still failing my test because I do not I do not ask for this window status so how I need how I will be able to get the status of my window and this is basically one of the things which I have uh, a problem but I can manipulate some stuff so in my, in my main menu control uh, I can yeah when I when I invoke this window it will be shown let me just quickly think of it okay so now I, I finally figure figure it out after f some sort of 15 minutes of my time so now mm, when I run this test I basically know that my window was shown and I can proceed further cool so I'm just used as information from the project vocabulary vocabulary hunter another useful JavaFX application but yeah it was the example from this code and interesting uh, what I should do next I see it I'm almost, almost at one hour let me uh, put additional stuff on my form so basically now I when now when I can run my test my form is some sort of uh, let me just close it other stuff uh, window range no. okay view on oh, disable left side where I have my left side right panel yeah. so this is what I have here and I am actually need a label the label I will put at the top and I need to write on my label let me just uh, view right panel so and this will be label for license ah, so basically fx id it is a variable name so what i have here is a license uh, this will be this will represent license information license info lbl label for LBL shortcut and here I just write license information license information make it uh, style bold and make it a little bit bigger than that so it will probably look look like this license information and I need some text and let's just look it up what I have here so I have text area text flow what is actually text flow in JavaFX 
Yeah, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a U, UI guy. I did set it many times. And basically, flow. I need to look up some stuff. But you see, uh, it is all about understanding how to pass value and how um, how it works with each each other. So text slow. I need to look up look text slow in JavaFX. Uh, basically, Oracle text slow. Text flow uses the text and font of each text node inside of it puts its own with um, maybe it's overkill for this kind of stuff. Let me just look up uh, text text area. I need I need a text area. And I put it uh, to the center. So now I have my text area and I have no text here. So let me just click on code. So I have my license in license info text. Alright, so and uh, to make it so uh, style class don't have nothing style here from text text switch to multi line mode and I hope if this is what I need to to work with. And I need to put this license to my yeah a lot a lot but it is very important and people when they have time they should read it. Okay, cool. Now, let me just uh, prompt text. What is prompt text? I don't think. I don't know what is a prompt text. So basically, um, wrap text. What is a wrap text? Wrap text. Okay. I think in my case, I should wrap it. Editable no. What is about the, of a disabled type? Okay. Now it will probably look like this. And I need to make sure that this text is positioned at the center. Now, uh, let me just quickly go over. And let me just think of it. Inherit default hint text area. 
Okay, layout. Alignment in center. But I'm actually need to align my text in center. Uh, it should be position in the center. Padding, uh, computer size, no. Code. Properties. From text uh, style regular italic family. No, I don't. I don't wish to bold. Okay, maybe bold is the way it should go. Okay, I need to format this text before I, uh, I do further work. Let me just pause. So, okay, now I uh, added the text and the button and I need to close the window and basically that's it, will be that's it for, for today. And I have here some warnings. I'm just need to ignore them. And yeah, I need to write my test. So let me just quickly look up um, my FXML. Open with FXML editor. And I think I need to edit some stuff here. Font name. Okay. Let me just add this feature. Uh, system bolt. Let me just open this scene builder. Open this scene builder. doesn't work uh, let me just delete this stuff open with scene builder so I need to make sure that this button is bold Yeah, previously it did not work for me. Some of uh, nice things of the FXML Cinebizel tool, but now it should it should work. And let me close it, store it, and main view, main help menu test. Now, now I need to write uh, the second test for this uh, menu. So basically, here I need to test if about license window close after ma after button ok click. I know, I know, it's a link, link lead name, but it's it making it make me show sure that I'm doing the right stuff. So here I have my clicking, and I need to click on on the button, and I need to write it. What type of button do I use? Uh, I mean the FX ID. Let me just quickly take it on here, fix ID. Okay, now I click on. Let me just write it right. Sometimes forget. 
air click uh, it, it, it clicks on the button and then I expect that the actually I need uh, another verifier verifier false maybe let me just let me just click quickly look up possible verifiers um, Wait a second. A sort fail. I think it is. Let me just look up uh, J J Union guide regarding of this. I think it was a sort a sort fail, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, so I need to write a failing test. Now I have the test which pass, but I need to write a failing test. Um, how I will basically do that um, now I need to write a controller for my about license FX FX email so controllers the main menu because it is belongs to the main menu new other class and this will be basically a controller for all my about license now it will let me just think about yeah about license controller um, let me just write here about license controller maybe it's overkill I know but I basically prefer to, to do stuff like this and now here in the controller I need to create the button uh, so basically have my button and this is the same stuff like like in here so oops so basically I need to write here button and then I just need to get the name of my button here code uh, and let me just write here Right. Now I have defined my button. I need to define my get SNC for the button, and I need to write my initializer because here the controller for this uh, window about window is in different class. So main menu controller. Here's my initializer. And here I need just to call the button and put an event. Set on action event. So I'm basically now implementing the future with the closing of the window all right so and in to be all in order to to be able to work with this controller um, my fxml Let me just quickly open it. Where is my FXML here? And in the controller, I need to put the controller. So what I need to write here. Let me just copy this almost the same stuff. Let me close it. 
open this license of XML controller controller main menu controller no my controller name is about license controller rename it and put it here about license controller save it okay button all right so button is here oops cancel um save it close it and then i need to refresh an eclipse because eclipse in my uh, in my case i need to do it manually now here i need to write some message that i know that uh, button in window license information was clicked so in the way it, it will go it will work like this I run menu test on edit help main test here here is my test and I start it and yep and I got an error button in window last information was clicked but I'm getting this nasty uh, null pointer exception and let me just quickly figure it out I, I think it is all about why um, Yeah, you see, it, 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 it was caused by the test. Yeah, I can, I, I can click it all day long. Well, I think the problem was with my test, actually. And I need some sort of... A, So basically, we need to verify that my window window was closed. Window was closed. And how I can do that? Basically, I need to verify that my after closing my window that I actually looking at at the main form this is what I'm actually need to to, to be able to to test and let me just quickly go to the grid pane main grid pane All right so this is what I'm actually need to to check but I need to close my window so how I will do that how I will go about now to close my window I have some code basically basically I need to go to the stage of uh, yeah uh, of new new stage and then close it when the times comes to that and here you don't see that I don't think yeah, I will find here close yeah I know I know for the fact that I need to so basically um, main menu controller main menu controller it creates the window but but 
to be able to close it, I need to pass my uh, some sort of a reference. Mm, and I don't doing. So what I need to do in the main in the main controller. This is what I'm actually pick up on YouTube from one guy, and I need just to write here the name of my controller, both license controller, and not this is not such a big deal, but some people make a big deal because they like to use an inject from the framework Spring and mm, in my case I don't think it will make any sense to you to do that uh, so basically I'm doing this about license controller about license controller like this capital and I'm yeah, I need to get a setup for this. Source code, get a setup. And you will clearly see the problem with the code uh, of my main menu control. It becomes pretty large. It's only get us on setups. And I'm, I'm not so critical about my controller at any, at any point. So now I did set up my about license controller in my main controller and let me just quickly think so and then I need to, to write an injector uh, which inject my uh, main controller to the to the to the another controller. Private void initialized. Ah, okay. So here I'm actually need to call to call mine. Okay, okay, okay. No, not problem at all. Inject main controller. This so. So I go to my about license controller and write here following um, public inject main controller main main menu controller in my case and this probably public. Uh, ah, okay. Public main inject main controller main controller. Do I need to return something? I don't need public void. Public void. And public void may inject main menu controller. And here I need to put main menu main menu controller main menu controller now we write here main menu controller okay and then I just need to I need to declare it in my class so here I am Let me just do it more or, or less with a sense and here I just need to to write private mm, I don't like it uh, input for main controller yeah this would be nice 
so and here I just need to write uh, main private main menu controller private main menu controller private main menu controller uh, main controller and then I need to get on set of all this all right and how it works so this main controller main controller and I just do it not this uh, I do this but set main more it will make more sense main controller from my injector that's it so I define it in my main controller the controllers which I use then I need to go to the initializer of my main controller class here this is the initializer and here in the initializer uh, I need to call my controller actually I will prefer to write like get this and but in any case I need to use like following about my controller Where is my, here is my initializer about license controller and in here what I need to do inject inject this so I'm basically injecting to my license controller and and uh, the whole injection part will be handled by the fxml by java fx so now uh, i think now my so basically i hope i can now get an access to my main view and what I need to get let me just quickly run my application I hope it works yeah this is what I'm actually I, I think I done mistake because I forgot one essential step license ah okay so no wrong idea let me just quickly undone <laughs> yeah wrong idea actually I don't need the stuff about license controller I don't need this part I don't need this part okay I don't need I don't need this part and I don't need this part and I don't need this part now it should work but I have the same problem I cannot close my window So 
I create my window and I so basically I want to create um, no I want to I want to close this window and the only way I see how I will handle this actually here at this point and basically maybe when I um, call this and let's get class Okay, so get OK button. I'm thinking about how I will do it in the best way. And the best way is to provide a reference. Actually, I need a reference to this uh, window which I have created. So, set up new window. Title for a new window. But how they did it in the example? Let me just quickly look up an example. So, I see that I'm almost at one hour. Uh, two hours long session um, yeah I learning stuff a lot and basically let me finish with this uh, stuff with closing my window so this is a label example here it's another example but let me just quickly look it up and then I proceed with the conclusion okay finally figure it out yeah I'm not a UI guy by any means necessary but it is not doesn't matter I hope my test will run so basically what happens Uh, which is hap what is happening so I let me just quickly run my application so I go to my help to license agreement the license agreement is here you can read it anytime when you wish um, and here I have my button and then I click OK and the window disappears and my application still running and this is how it goes the code is pretty uh, pretty pretty simple I don't need the previous stuff which I have tried out it was needed for, the, for some another case when you have to work with uh, um, stuff from your main, main menu controller but I'm trying not to do that I'm trying to work with my uh, stuff from the actual controller which involved with the actual form which I loaded and presented to the user. So basically that's it. I just need to run my Maven test as always as I do. Um, and the code itself pretty simple. So I'm getting this scene from my uh, button from which I have an access this is pretty neat and then I get an access to the stage and I know my stage and I close my stage and that's it and that's it now I need to refactor this code basically this code I need to refactor refactor extract method close 
license info window and when I run my main view it will work pretty too help license agreement clicking ok works and I close all of my code now I can run actually all of my stuff from Maven uh, POM XML so uh, and this is the way how I prefer to to test my UI I'm using a framework test fix but it is open source and it works for me I don't need to deal with sometimes oh, oh, oh something goes wrong Okay, what have failed? Ah, okay, it did not found. File not found, file not found. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, it it fails because my setup file are not accidentally. Uh, I know why it fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ac accidentally deleted the stuff here. Oh my gosh! Um, restore from local history. Yeah. Here it goes. <laughs> I just uh, find out. I just um, yeah. I I, I thought uh, about deleting XML files from the test resources. Some concentration problem. Let me just quickly rerun my test. It was basically human mistake, not a program. And now I just need to run my test from the POM. Yeah, sorry guys. Happens, happens, happens even to the best. But this is this is the power of test. You can check always the state of your application. If you don't have a test, go figure. And if you have tests basically know what you are doing okay so it is pretty pretty cool Let me just uh, improve some of my tests uh, before I conclude. I know it's almost at 1 and 80, 80, 88 hour, 38 hour. So here is my test, and I just need to delete. Yeah, XML auto. XML auto was delete. Now at view test, main view, help menu test. I did so that That this test, for example, uh, where I am checking if my window is open, and 
then it it checked if it visible but you saw that the another window uh, over overlapped uh, is this such big problem for me currently uh, let me just think about Why, uh, why it's such a big problem? Let me just run all, all of the tests here. Hmm. Okay, it passed. I don't think this is a such big uh, problem for me currently. Where I have all of my tests, maybe maybe it's some sort of uh, optical optical effect, but it is not a uh, functional defect. Yeah. I think I think it is the best uh, let me just think about it so after I, I did verify that the window exists I need to click on close and let me just go to my test I don't know if it works but you test I think it is like um, before each void close window do import so so now here I need uh, just to click click on yeah on the button and I, ho I hope it will work uh, after after each maybe maybe after each after each sorry I think it is after each now why why it does not work uh, what it does not like after each uh, it's some it's this is some sort of eclipse mistake let me just let me just run my maven test Okay. Now, why it does not why build failure? Where help me in close window? Yeah, I don't think I can use it. But I think I think it not make so big deal. Uh, why you say because at some point uh, 
yeah I'm more concerned about data structures and UI is as itself pretty defined for me and it's not such big deal I mean my tests are passing and my GUI test just going through so okay license agreement So basically, so basically, after after this test, I need to make sure that my window is closed. Wait a second. Can I click on on the button after I done my verify? Maybe this additional step will is up. Yeah, I think that was the case. And then when I run my automatic tests. I think it will probably work because each time I click on button, yeah, yeah, I think I, I fix it. Yeah. But this was some some sort of a minor issue. Wow, wonderful, 143 tests and all passing through. And on this point of view I conclude my session and thank you until next then bye bye